afternoon good afternoon it's very it's a good beautiful day outside except for all this damn pollen <laughs> how you guys doing today man today for dawn we are going to be wrapping the roof raising the roof you feel me we're gonna raise the roof now nah, we're gonna wrap it right the thing with that is i don't know why they did this i'm not saying put a panoramic sunroof up here but why why you feel me for me i'm like why it may be just fine to you it may be it might be the color right it might be the color of the car maybe this looks better on the blue or blah blah, blah. i don't know you know i don't like this so we got half black and half wolf gray ceramic gray whatever it's called and we got a bunch of pollen up here so obviously the car is not going to get fully washed that's going to happen later but we're going to clean this roof off clean off the pillars and yeah get her prepared let her dry off get her prepared i think the weather's good enough it should be good enough is the sun is out it was cold this morning but now it's getting hot i don't understand the weather bro <laughs> like and it wasn't cold as in it's like 40 degrees it was maybe like 55 or something I, I gotta check the weather right now but i know it's warmed up anyway my plan is while i'm doing it i do like the fact i do love um the pillars being black too so i i should i have more than enough wrap actually some gloss black wrap from our vinyl as usual 3m i'm gonna wrap this all the way here and then we're gonna do this part obviously got to get this that's this is going to be the most difficult part right here that's the most difficult part to me especially i really don't want to take off the headliner the roof liner and unscrew that and take it out and do out i'm gonna figure that out okay but this is gonna be the easiest part the pillar is gonna be the easiest part i might have to do this separately but yeah before and after pictures blah 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 blah, blah. you know you know how it goes anyway let me get right into it. Here's what we got so far. We did the pillar. It's always... It, it's The top part is always easy. It's just the under part where the door is. <clears throat> see if you can get... See if you can get how it look from right here. Yeah. It's getting kind of dark. It's not really going to do it justice. But I'm going to at least do the other pillar before it gets too dark. I can really finish the whole thing. Let's see how I feel after this other pillar. Just so it can match, you know. But look at the, the car already beautiful. Now that mug look. It got that floating roof, boy. Got what Nissan be doing. 24, every fucking car Nissan got. We're going to use the floating roof design. And we're going to black out the pillar. And we're just going to leave the trim around the door. Nissan do that on every goddamn car. And it doesn't even look good on every car. Like, the only car that should have that is the Maxima. It would have been more appealing. Now you got the Ultima doing it. It's like, the damn car looked the same. Shit. We can see you got to do the back. Man, let me get to this stuff. I'm over here ranting. It is a brand new day. I did finish this yesterday, but it was too dark to like... Well, it wasn't too dark. I still could have did it. But I guess I got too tired. I don't know. I did finish though. It does look pretty good to me. I did mess up in a few areas because I'm not an expert, obviously. But if you look at it, you won't see it. But I know exactly where it's at. It's one of those situations where you know where the imperfections at, but somebody who just looks at it wouldn't know. And I finished this. When I finished, I went and looked back at it and I was like, where did this come from? Because it was not like this while I was putting it down. This mud came out of nowhere. But the antenna was the hardest part. I got the, the two sides good. But then the back of it was the messed up part. And then I don't know if you can see around the antenna. Which I could just cut these parts off. I messed up going around it. So I had to like put another piece right there. But the pillars are fine. The pillars and the back piece except for this part. The rest of the hood here's where the imperfections are where the antenna is at and right here so there's only two spots the pillars both sides are fine 
and the rest of the roof is fine and the i'm wiping off this protectant that's why it looks like this because i sprayed something on here it's supposed to pretty much protect it but i have to wipe it off which i didn't do earlier which is stupid but yeah well let me see if i can get a back angle i guess i'm not doing this part like i said i just wanted the roof That light's not helping. I'm gonna take another video outside and a few pictures. So, yeah. Let's get a look at the other side. This pollen isn't going anywhere, and I know it's gonna be hell when it does, when a car does get outside and get some of this pollen on there. Wipe it down a little bit. So this is coming back. So remember I said to use the Meguiar's on this? This is coming right back. This little, these dirty spots or whatever. So I'm gonna need to hit that again with the Meguiar's or the Turtle Wax. It's kind of coming off. Most people don't like this dark chrome, but I do. And I wanna keep it. And the car came from up north, so that's, it makes it even worse. But yeah, the other side is fine. Like I said, it wasn't hard. All I got to do is finish wiping this off, and then that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, catch you next time.